Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Chris, this is 4K Motoring, and today we're gonna do some mild damage control to the Porsche Boxster. The girlfriend drives this car to work, and evidently wherever she works, there's a bunch of vegetation around, and we get these little black dots. And I don't know how well they're all showing up on camera, but they're all over the car. As I do research, it appears this is called artillery fungus. And it spreads out kind of like a shotgun pattern all over the car. So we're gonna go ahead and do some damage control. This stuff can eat into the paint if left for too long. The paint was sealed pretty well, so I'm not too worried as long as we address it, but we're gonna go ahead and take that off. I'll show you what I use to do that and what seems to work for me. If you guys have another way, let me know in the comments below and let's get to it. So most of you probably know on this channel, I'm a big fan of chemical guys for the most part. What we're gonna use today is their clay luber. It's a detail spray that allows you to use a clay bar. Now, I haven't really found a special clay bar that I like a whole lot, um, or at least any that are above and beyond the rest. Clay bars are usually just clay bars. These are from, I believe, Meguiar's, comes in a three pack. I'll leave a link to them below. It's great to have a couple of these on hand. They do last quite a while. We're gonna go ahead and first try and get some of these black dots up. I'll show you the process that I use to do it and then how we seal up the paint afterwards to make sure there's no damage that occurs. This process is pretty simple. We can see where the black dots are here. We're gonna pull out our clay. We're gonna go ahead and kind of knead it so it's somewhat warm to a nice clean section, nice flat section. We're gonna give the paint a good spray or two to kind of cover our working area. We don't wanna rub this on dry paint or it will just kind of chalk up everywhere. But we'll go ahead and make sure we get some lube on it and we'll just do some circles here. And we can feel it as it grabs all the contamination in the paint to include those little fungus dots. Now this is a good idea even if you don't have this kind of damage on your paint because it does pull up a lot of contaminants that are embedded in your paint that you can't really see, a lot of different minerals and stuff like that that can dull your paint and even cause damage to it. And then after you cover a section, you just kind of knead the clay up to a fresh side and keep working. And you can definitely feel how much slicker it is after you go over an area a couple times and it starts pulling off a lot of that contamination. Now I've seen some vlogs about this stuff where people use high temperature pressure washing and we did hit it with a pressure washer, not high temperature, it is still winter in North Carolina. And that didn't seem to do a lot to this stuff. We didn't really focus on it. And we've seen people talk about just full paint correction to the car. We're not going quite that far at this point. We're just gonna try and remove the contamination with the clay bar and we'll see where that gets us. Now we'll go ahead and give this just a quick wipe down with a microfiber cloth to our lubed area just to kind of get an idea of what's underneath it now. Gotta make sure it's a clean cloth. So we can see as we rub our hand over, man, we have really improved the slickness of this surface. And just to take a look, we can see on our clay bar how much contamination is getting picked up. So we're gonna keep going, hopefully cover this whole panel here, and then I'll show you how I go ahead and seal up the paint to make sure none of the stuff really gets in and damages in the future. So next we're gonna go ahead and seal up this paint. What I use and one of my favorite products from Chemical Guys is their Hydro Slick. And that is a ceramic hybrid wax, basically. It goes on just like a wax would, but it has the ceramic components and the hydrophobic components of a typical ceramic. Really does a great job making the paint shine, as I found. It's pretty economical. One bottle goes a long way, and it does a really good job keeping the surface protected so these little dots will come off or any contamination will come right off real easily. Pretty simple operation. We're gonna stick in small sections. This car has been done previously, so the surface is still in pretty good shape, and after clay barring, it is a nice, smooth surface. 
we're going to put just a couple little beads. This is the first time we're using, so it's a little dry pad. We'll put four little beads on our applicator pad. And we'll go ahead and just work in just a small area of the panel at one time. Now the idea is to let this sit for just a small period of time. And we're going to go ahead and wipe it off before it really gets to dry. It will come off after it dries, but it is quite a pain. It only takes about a minute, minute and a half really to get to the point where it's ready to be wiped off. And that is that, that's the application. It does take about a day for this to fully harden and cure, so it gives the maximum uh, water resistance and protectiveness. But really, that's as easy as it is, and as smooth as this paint is, it is super smooth over here already. So we're gonna go ahead and protect our finish and finish up the car. And that's as easy as that is. It does take about a day for this to cure fully, but it already is protecting the car, and it is just so smooth. This stuff lasts at least six months with no care, with constant washing and constant care. No problem getting a year out of this stuff and still beating up water almost like new. Really do enjoy this Hydro Slick. Well, that was a lot of tedious work, but nothing too difficult. We ended up clay barring the entire back half of the car because that was all I could really find any of those spores on. We ended up getting pretty much all of them off. I've noticed there's one or two that I'm gonna have to go back over uh, and get off, but I think for the most part, we've made a huge improvement on this car. We went ahead and did our hybrid ceramic coat after that, the thing I generally use on these cars, and it is incredibly shiny, very slick, and over the next couple hours, we'll continue to harden to give us a very protective finish on the back that hopefully will stand up to any more of this that we may find. I know there's some that is on the porous plastic and probably some that has made it onto the cloth top. The next time we do our pressure washing, we're gonna make sure we do some high temp stuff and really make sure we pay attention to the back of that to get all of those little spores off of everywhere on the car. But at least it's not eating through the paint anymore. We did get that off. So hopefully we've made it without damage and this car will continue to be able to be a daily driver and hold up to the outstanding appearance it came with from the factory. Again, I'm gonna leave links to everything down in the description below that I used for this job. If you guys have any tips or have encountered this sort of thing before and have a better way to do it or a different way to do it, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it and I'd love to have something different to try next time just to see which way truly works better. This has been working so far with what I believe is the minimum amount of effort required and so far, I really like the way it turns out. Thank you guys for watching 4K Motoring. I know this is a quick one. We'll be back with you soon. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and like this video, and we'll catch you next time.